Hi, my name is Sonia, and today I will be exploring a question which is, to what extent is language a double-edged sword? A double-edged sword means something that can have both favorable and unfavorable consequences. A situation in my life that I found for language to be a double-edged sword is learning a new language while being bilingual. I'm from Russia and I'm fluent both in English and Russian and at the moment at school I'm studying Spanish. Being fluent in Russian has definitely helped me in studying Spanish. If you look at both Russian and Spanish, they are Indo-European languages. They're spoken in vast regions of the world. One is spoken at the very east of Europe and one is spoken at the very west. Therefore, since both languages have very similar roots, it is easy for me to sometimes guess the meaning of words in Spanish that I don't know by comparing them to the words in Russian. For example, the word culture in Russian would be cultura, and in Spanish is cultura. The word to give in Russian would be dat, and in Spanish is dar. The word moon in Russian is luna, and in Spanish is luna. The word cake in Russian is tort, and in Spanish is torta. You can see how similar these words are, and there are many more examples, but these are just a few. However, the reason why my situation in particular is a double-edged sword is because two languages are never entirely the same. Some words may, may sound similar, but over centuries, they have been developed by cultures to have completely different meanings. This can be a trap for bilingual speakers learning a language and thinking they can understand any word just because they know a language that has similar roots. For example, the word to assist in Russian and in English, which is interesting, means to help. So you would say it in Russian as asistirovat. So when I saw a word in Spanish um, asistir, I thought it means the same thing. Nope. Asistir in Spanish means to attend, which is, you know, very different from to help. Another example is a word compromise, which in Russian and English, interesting again, means an agreement or settlement of dispute reached by each side making concessions. You would say it in Russian as compromis. In Spanish, a very similar sounding word is compromise, meaning commitment. Also very different. The situation of words that may, so that, that may sound similar but have either the same or very different meanings is how language can be a double-edged sword. Thank you. Bye.